In the Carolina Kitchen today, you really can't beat handmade when it comes to the food you eat, and that includes making your own marshmallows. Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. Allie Caulfield with Dough is here with us, and you were doing something that looks kind of experimental and fun, and I've never even, I guess, really thought about how you make these. Yeah, it's always a science experiment in my kitchen. <laughs> and you're making what? Something Marshmallows. very simple. Something that we eat all the time. Something very simple and actually as complicated as it looks, it's not complicated at all. All The only really special equipment you need is a candy thermometer, which you can buy really at any grocery store. Okay. Um, so first what I'm doing is boiling my sugar, water, and corn syrup to 240, 240 degrees. In my bowl, I have my egg whites and gelatin. Gelatin you can also buy at the local grocery store. So we're going to start whipping this mixture. Just regular gelatin, so no flavors or anything No else. flavors. Um, now, the cool thing about making your own marshmallows is that you can add your own flavors. So as you're mixing it, once you add your sugar, you can add your own flavors, colors. I have a pink version. You can add strawberry flavor, you know, whatever really. Okay. So once this reaches your 240 degrees Fahrenheit, You want to slowly add it to the side of your bowl so that sugar, hot, burning hot sugar isn't flying everywhere. <laughs> and this is really fun to do um, with kids. After you get the hot sugar part out of the way, once your marshmallows are going, I have some um, little extras that you can add. You can dip the marshmallows in some melted chocolate, dip it in sprinkles. I have some um, sweetened coconut, dried fruit, anything really. And, and then, how long do these last? I mean, are these going to last for a while? If you put them in a Ziploc bag, they'll last a couple of weeks. After you get this mixture, I mean, so I'm guessing you're going to... It's going to mix for a while. Okay. How long? And it's going to look like fluff, like marshmallow fluff. Okay. Um, so just when it gets warm and it literally looks like melted marshmallow. And then you pour it right into your... Um, into your prepared pan, which has angel sugar, which I call it's half powdered sugar, half cornstarch, so nothing sticks because it is really, really sticky, as we know, marshmallows. Um, and you pour it into your prepared pan, let it dry for a few hours. Um, you put it in the fridge, or you just leave nope, it? Nope, just let, leave it out on the counter, it let okay. it dry, and then you plop it out onto your cutting board, and you can cut it with a knife. I also brought. Um, little round cookie cutters. You can cut them with little round cookie cutters or whatever fun shapes you might have. That looks fantastic. Let's get you guys the recipe at home. I know you want to make your own marshmallows. Who doesn't, right? Go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link. That, of course, is the fastest way. Or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville, 28803. We are making marshmallows in the Carolina Kitchen. So you just really, really simply, you can dip the whole thing. You can dip half of it just in some melted chocolate. That makes it so much more fun. Totally fun and totally easy. And that's what's cooking in the Carolina Kitchen.